Boy. No, don't film me yet. My blush hasn't settled. <laughs> Listen, they've been seeing me for a while. They want to see you. Well, hey guys, hey we're boy. back. We're in LA officially, and we're in our apartment. Ah! We are Californians. Oh. Look at that, California. Oh. Oh. Anthony just came home with the sauce from Chipotle. No, don't show anyone that. Anthony got me the sauce. He special ordered it somehow. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Um, you filming me, boy? <laughs> Michael, I'm in a home run derby. Nice baseball hit. <laughs> <laughs> you really hit that ball with that bat. I did. I'm so talented. Get up, man. Oh, we have to go. God, you said it's sit here. I had to film. Stop playing ball. Ew. Get up. We have to go shopping. Anthony has no clothes. I have zero. You gotta understand. I had zero clothes as it is. And I didn't bring much, so uh, I need more clothes. He literally brought clothes that he's had since he was like six years old. Like I'm like, why would you bring a shirt That's for like true. some a toddler aged two? You know, he's literally bringing children's clothes. He like thinks he might need it one day. It's really beautiful out, you guys. It's 70 degrees here, and I still can't believe that it's technically winter. Back at home, it's like snowy, freezing, and my brother sent me a picture yesterday of him in the snow, and he was holding up the middle finger. And I was like, haha, that's so funny. We almost got light rain today. Don't be too jealous. Ah! <laughs> my delivery was better in the text. So. Yeah, so we gotta get clothes, and we also have, we actually have a red carpet event we have to dress for, for GLAD in the NFL, which is coming up on uh, two weeks. So we gotta find a look. Plant pubes. Right? Ew, nuts. It's true. Tell me that doesn't look like that. Pubic hair of the plants. I guess. Where are we? We're in West Hollywood, I think. No. Yeah. We're gonna go thrifting and we're gonna check out that little market. Anthony's getting some cool LA things, amping up his style. You can already tell by the pattern <laughs> that he's doing it. It's real different for him. He's stepping out of his comfort zone. I, I love it. it. I've always liked the kind of early 90s eclectic color. Just no 70s. <laughs> yeah, no 70s. I, no, nothing that old. <laughs> it's only $45. Michael, we have so enough <laughs> deadly cactuses in our home. I, want, I literally want one next to our bed this big. No! We're gonna come back here. Absolutely not. I want all of them, honestly. I'm gonna fill our apartment with cacti. Yeah, and then when you stumble into it and thorns go in your butt. <laughs> Just wake up one morning delusional or go to pee at night. <laughs> I love this music. <laughs> Pull. How come it's not breaking? It's strong. Alright, I think Anyone, it's good. One good yank. One. No, it's good. No, no, no. Three, two, ow! <laughs> Michael. You almost put my shoulder out of the socket. Alright, it's good. I think it's fine. Ow! Abuse! Anthony verbally abused me. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that. It's true, he just cursed me out in the car because I was beeping at someone. Oh yeah, I did yell at him because he ke he keeps doing this thing where people cut him off and then he high beams them and beeps at them incessantly. <laughs> like, they're gonna beat you up out here. I, you, don't, you don't mess around with people out here. There's gangs and all those other kinds of stuff. You want gangs in Sherman Oaks? I'm from a gang. I'm from Jersey. Jersey gang. You're too in the bubble of Jersey, you understand? I have pepper spray though. Listen, if someone cuts me off and puts others' lives at danger, I'm gonna beep at them so they know that it's not okay. And if I risk my life doing it to save somebody else's life, then so be it. I won't, right, so I won't be a vigilante when Anthony's in the car. Yes, don't do it with me in the car. So I got this orange, ooh, it's really short, this one. Uh, it's orange hoodie. Real quick, before you finish yours, 
I just got these brown Dickie pant Dickies pants. I tried them on myself. I hated them. I really like them. They're like a khaki brown. They're not fully brown. I don't like the material. Uh, I got these jeans. I got a kooky, crazy windbreaker kind of. At the flea market. At the flea market. So cute. Fun. Bit funky fresh. I got another one similar. I always liked these windbreaker type jackets. I like the colors on this. Then we've got some incense that Michael bought. Fucking sneakers. Do you think are nice? Who picked them out? Michael picked them. Are you giving me any of the credit for this? I oh. haven't. I picked out everything here. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it's an end. I liked this first. Michael Thanks. confirmed that he liked it. And then I bought. He's crazy. <laughs> It was so peaceful. Oh my god, it comes in a cute little case. A nice little carrying case. That's so cute. Even Should've... though it has nothing to do with what this is like for Dylan's candy shop. <laughs> it's a steel drum. Oh, I actually like that blue. It's a beautiful a really blue cute. steel drum. Did it come with the thing? And it comes with the thing. The little drum sticks. Oh my god. Sleep. I love it. Alright, so Anthony is currently at the gym, so I'm gonna start preparing Zena. I have my mango juice here, and I'm going to make chicken cutlets tonight. Yesterday I made sausage, peppers, onions, um, and like a seven grain rice, and today we're gonna be doing chicken cutlets. So the first thing we're gonna be doing. <laughs> now it's like a cooking show. The first thing we're gonna be doing is putting some flour in a bowl. I hate measuring things. I'm super lazy, so I'm not gonna measure anything. Flour, we're gonna do four eggs or maybe three eggs, I'm not sure. I think we actually need one more egg. We're gonna whisk it up. So this is kind of like a, this is kind of like a three-step chicken cutlet. So we got Italian-style breadcrumbs because we're Italian up in here. I'm just gonna put them all in this bowl. I'm probably not gonna use that much, but whatever. Just boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm pretty sure my mom taught me to cut the chicken in half first. So let me. Try that. And you also want to trim the fat because there's some fat on it. It's pretty gross. So I just like to cut that off. So I could be doing this the wrong way, but I don't care. We're going to do like a half a cup of olive oil. We're also going to take some Parmesan cheese and put that right in with the breadcrumbs to give it a little extra salty goodness. Even though I try to cook with no salt because cholesterol, like high cholesterol runs in my family and I, I like don't want to die or I'm like... So I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese in there. That was a lot of cheese, wow. So I just got off the phone with my mom and she said not to use olive oil because you'll go through a lot of it. It doesn't have like a high heat tolerance or something. So I should have gotten canola oil, but I mean, what are you gonna do at this point? I'm just gonna wing it. Also, she doesn't use flour, which is weird because I totally thought she used flour. So I am going to do this. And I'm not the best at multitasking, so I'm gonna pick up the camera again as soon as I finish, and hopefully they come out good. Babe, what is this? It's just chicken. <laughs> There's my guy's plate, a big hunky piece of meat. And I have two little skinnies. Come on, I didn't get two. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> so that was a big piece of chicken, so I really hope I cooked it all the way through. I feel like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you get salmonella and die. Dip in some catchy. All right, let's see there. Oh my god. He'll be honest, like right? Gordon does. Is it moist? No. No. It's I can't. It's actually really good. Yay. 
<laughs> Very good, Michael. Thanks, boy Lee. We have to do this every night. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it just took Anthony like eight tries to get off the couch. <laughs> what was up with that? Well, I have bulging discs and I just did legs today, so the combo of the two makes it very hard to get up. I forgot about your bulging, bulging yeah, discs. My bulging disc jelly. Ew. <laughs> but the one thing that make my bulging discs feel better are cheese balls. I thought you were gonna say me. <laughs> it's my lovely boy, Michael. All right, y'all, here we are. <laughs> today what we're gonna do is, <laughs> we're making Brazilian cheesy bread. We're putting it in the air fryer. <laughs> I'm convinced this thing is gonna blow up. I've never seen one of these things before. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Let's do 320. Didn't it say 350? For <laughs> the box said 350. No, no, it's okay. For six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, why did you start at 320? What are you talking about? <laughs> the box. The box is 350. <laughs> I know it damn says 350. <laughs> Trust me, Kai? I know. Why are you eating my m and who, who opens the bag like this? Anthony. <laughs> my are hand ripped me? it by accident. <laughs> Look at how much he He just put like eight in his mouth. And then now, to stop recording. I can only eat one of these balls. Wow, they look perfect. <laughs> they look so good. Don't they look so good, baby? Yeah, baby. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Here's your soda pop. Hey, thanks. Tell me what you think of it. <laughs> it's well done. Thanks. Perfectly chilled in the glass. Can we With see the glass? The, just the perfect amount of ice. I got these cute glasses. And then the um, square ice cubes. And Is then this the whole can? A, yeah, a bamboo straw. And a bamboo straw. It's Thank like the you. exact size of a can. Isn't that funny? Mm. This is not what I was expecting. Were you expecting actual cheese on the inside? Yeah. Ew, no. These are like uh, from Red Lobster, like the butter bag biscuits. What's it called when you have a fear of eating? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what's it called when you have a fear of hearing people chew? Is it like mazonophobia or something? I have it. You have it? No. I got these pillows to match the couch. It's like has like a fake leather on one side and like the same material as the couch pretty much on the other side. I'd say that's a pretty good match. Do you think so, boy? I agree. Thank you. And look it's at almost this. Almost exact match. Right? And I got this fruit bowl. I've been wanting a fruit bowl. It's really dirty. It's not dirty. Yeah. What's all the stuff that's scrubbing? It's off just of the it. design. Yeah. Guys, I bought a car. Oh yeah, yeah my very first car. car. <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. It's a Kia Forte. Here, here. And, wait, wait, wait. and this is the man. This guy over here, guys. Rami. Come ask for me. Congratulations. Rami is the best. Thank you, man. We appreciate Thank all your you. help, Rami. Thank really, you. He keeps it real. Thank you. 100%. Thank you. We respect that the most here. Congratulations on your car, eh? Hey, thanks. I slightly cried on the way home. Are you just saying, <laughs> you're yeah. so precious. Have you I'm made a, it a, a day right. without crying? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe one. He cries all the time, you guys. In front of all of his idols, did. he keeps crying. I cried in front of Sting. <laughs> all and of the gone. wrestlers that he's grateful to wrestle now, he's crying in front of them. I'm like, And Daniel, Br Brian Danielson. Uh, I cried right in his face. Yeah, <laughs> he's such a crier. I can't help it, it's so emotional. He's a crier. I am. It's send-off day. It's that time again, people. I have to hop on a plane across the country again. I gotta go to Chicago, and then I go to Orlando for wrestling. But then I'll be home. It's a long stretch this time. He's leaving. Not, not that long. It's really not that long. <laughs> From Tuesday to Sunday. So it's just like a week. I'll be home Sunday morning. So like, Tuesday to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I'm on Cameo now. 
So if you want to get a personalized message request from myself or Michael and, and I, head to my cameo at Bones underscore official. All right, baby. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I'll be back.